Now this is the <coughs> second of two engines that I've recently won on auction on eBay, <coughs> again uh, from the same seller. And this is a solenoid engine, but obviously in the form of a beam engine. And again, like the twin cylinder <coughs> solenoid engine, this is really, really well made. Really um, impressed by the work that's gone into this. Again, as I said, on the video of the twin cylinder engine. <clears throat> Peter, the guy who sold this, he didn't really know an awful lot about these engines. He believed they were scratch built by somebody in the 1950s. And I think that's probably a fairly good, good estimate, but they're just very, very well put together. Uh, and also they're very large. I mean, there's my hand, my hand in there so you can see. So, you know, look at the size of that flywheel. That's gotta be four, four inches, probably over four inches. <clears throat> and as I said, very nicely put together. Um, this one he said he could he ran this off of a 12 volt supply and it ran fine <clears throat> and it does it runs absolutely fine but this the flywheel on this is nowhere near as heavy as the flywheel on the twin cylinder one so i i think that's possibly why the twin cylinder one needs a bit more oomph to get it going but no this this one this one runs absolutely fine uh, and, it, it, and it again it's a it's just a lovely it's a, just a lovely engine uh, and uh, i i just so pleased to get both of these um and and showcase them because you know, uh, they just, things like this just don't come up very often. As I said, I'm extremely interested in electromagnet solenoid type engines like this. So they, they do, do intrigue me. So we'll let it come around and then you can we'll have a quick look at the, uh, the crank. There you go. Now again, I don't know whether you can see that, but, but that in there is a ball race. There is a ball race in there. So this 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 thing, this part here, which the crankshaft run through, the crankshaft is running a ball race, which is, again, you know, um, excellent engineering. So yeah, fascinated by this, and I will get this connected up to some power so you can guys can see it running. Um, it runs superbly, as does the other one. There we go. I haven't done anything to it again. This is exactly as it came when I unpacked it. Came out of the parcel. Uh, it could do with a clean. It needs a bit, a bit, a bit of dusting, really. But um, no, a lovely, lovely engine. And uh, also very interesting, you know, the way he's done the flywheel. I think that's um, kind of unusual. Um, but um, the guy obviously had a decent sized lathe because that is a big lump of brass there. So he, he did some serious turning. Same with this, the cover for the for the solenoid. I haven't had that apart so I, yet, so I don't know, but I would suspect that you'll probably find that, that, that that's another home wound solenoid coil in there. It won't be a commercially bought one. Right, let's get the power supply down here. Right, power supply is connected. Now this one will actually run quite nicely on just six volts, which is what I've got the power supply connected to. So there we go. I think it's like wobble on the flywheel, which I have to attend to. But yes, that's six volts. As you can see it runs very nicely. And very quietly, very quiet. It's quite nice on this one, as you can see the breaker action uh, quite clearly because it's all open, it's, there's no case around it or anything, so. Now 
Yeah. A very, very, very nice solenoid engine. In a beam engine configuration, obviously. Yeah, lovely. There's very little slop in any of the mechanism either, which is which is really nice. Quite a small stroke. It's not actually moving very far at all. Probably half an inch, maybe. Yeah, an absolutely lovely engine. If by any chance there's anyone out there who happens to watch this and knows who made these, I would love to know some history on them because they are just they are just gorgeous engines. They're just really, really nice. Okay, that's it. <coughs> on the... Uh, rather lovely scratch built solenoid beam engine from probably around the 1950s i hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching cheers <laughs>